So it's warming up today, but I still feel cold. Maybe even I'm colder chilling. than yesterday. That's weird. It's really been weird because it's been colder outside than it has been in the house. And I know that probably sounds like, well, duh, it's supposed <laughs> to be. But in the past, it's never been like that because this is an old house. Yeah. And we used to have these like crank windows. What were those things Jollicies. called? Jollicies. Jollicies windows where it had like these Ooh. little thin pieces of glass and you would just crank them open and we replaced our windows like right at the beginning of the big pandemic. And it traps all the heat in there. It does. I just realized there's chorizo in here. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all the different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we actually get to vlog on the very first day of a new month, you'll be alerted to it. Happy February 1st and also first day that we're not on beef, butter, bacon, eggs, and keto chow, even though I see that we're eating beef, butter, bacon, eggs. Sort of. So uh, <laughs> breakfast today, um, I have two and a half scrambled eggs with some of the leftover corned beef brisket. You like corned beef brisket the way I like pork belly. So oh, if yeah. there is, I could eat if, it every day. If there is any leftover and we only have like one share of a leftover, it goes to to Joe. Yeah. And Rachel is having two and a half scrambled eggs with that sliced up chorizo that we found oh, at Costco. Oh my gosh, that stuff is and good. That stuff is delicious. It is packed full of flavor. flavor. Uh, clean ingredients. It gets good and greasy. I don't know if you can tell, but like, look, even in areas where it's just eggs, because it cooked in like it's grease and oil, yeah. it's the flavor is all through the eggs. And I actually do much better with these, you know, pepperoni looking chorizos. Right. Than if you give me the big chorizos that we get at like Aldi, you eat like a ton of them, or Costco. I mean, there's a lot of fat in mm -hmm. those, right? If I eat the sausage ones. Mm -hmm. But it's because I just want to have the flavor. So it's it's a lot safer for me to eat a couple of these and get all of the flavor than for me to hork down an entire package of chorizo. And and don't kid yourself, I have eaten an entire like four pack of those sausages I was before. just gonna say, it's not that there's anything wrong with them having a lot of fat. They're, it's fatty deliciousness. It's so good. But. They're small, about this big, and each one of them is like almost 200 calories of fat, and, <laughs> which is great if you can eat one. Right, I can't eat but one though, I love if you're them. like us and you wanna eat two and three and four in a sitting, that becomes an issue. So I like this sliced up look, and then what I do is, I actually just heat up the Blackstone where you can do it on like any frying pan, and just like 30 seconds on each side, and what happens is, is some of the fat starts melting out. Yeah. It crisps it up a little bit. It's so good. And then I use that fat to actually cook the eggs. This is also safer for your clothing, because I yes. am not even playing. Those little sausages are so greasy, and it gets on your hands, and it gets like, you know, all over your outfit. It's, it's not good. Coffee today is going to be uh, the entire pot of coffee two tablespoons of butter, so one tablespoon of butter a piece, and Warning, that is it. This will not be my only coffee experience today. Oh, really? I'm gonna tell you right now, because I get more than one now. I can't open this. So February 1st is a new month. It also means we have a new challenge, and the challenge is Commitment issues. It's time to deal with our commitment issues. And it doesn't sound like a challenge, does it? Well, it's gonna be a challenge, but a different one for every single person because everybody knows where they are kind of on the fence, half in, 
half out when it comes to some things. For some people, it's going to be fitness mm. where they're like, hey, I bought the workout clothes. I bought the shoes. But going to the actual gym on a consistent basis, that I have yet to commit to. Right. Or maybe, you know, your Monday through Friday keto and then trying to do Saturday, Sunday standard American diet. And you're like, hey, I can't be, be dating both of these eating lifestyles. So I got to choose one and That's I'm going right. to commit from now on. So I think for everybody, it's going to be different, but we all know it's time, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of fear to commitment. There's a lot of emotion that swirls around commitment, but we don't need to feel like doing the right thing to do the right thing. Right. So what is the commitment issue that you are going to work on this month? It is going to be exercise every single day, no matter what. And we get very busy. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of busy excuseness, right? There's a lot of room for excuses in my schedule where I can be like, well, there's not an optimum time, but there is always something, whether I'm indoors and exercise, whether I have to go outdoors to exercise, I can exercise in the morning, I can exercise at night. It just has to be done. Yeah. So I am committing this month to at least 30 minutes of movement a day. That's good. So that is not, it's, that is not impossible. That is able to be done. If I have to do squats in my living room for 30 minutes or work out with a YouTube video, like it will be accomplished. Okay. That's really good. What about you? What are you committing to? Actually, mine is pretty much like on par, par with yours with, you know, like movement. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we do live really busy lifestyles and I do spend time at the computer and you know we listen i mean we have like a hundred jobs going on at this at any given time we've got right. a church and landscaping and a sports officiating and and you know we've got our camping channel and our two crazy ketos and all that but what happens is is a lot of time even though i'm moving a lot i do put the the strength training the workout part off to the side, especially when you're in a situation like right now where I'm nursing a bad shoulder. Right. And you start going, oh, I don't know. And like, what if I re hurt myself? And so, if there's anything that I ever put off to the side when I need to create time, it is like movement, it is yeah. exercise. And so, the commitment that I'm making to myself this month is pretty much on the same, you know, page that. I am going to do something every single day. Now it's going to be probably something different every day because it is going to be based on what does my schedule look like. Um, I've already got, I think in a week or in a week and a half, my first set of lacrosse games. So when I have to officiate a lacrosse game, you know, on average, that's going to be three to five miles of walking and running up and down a field on a high school game. So you feel like, okay, so that like, day I got it in. That, that's some movement on that day. But getting myself onto the rowing machine, using my Oculus more, and most importantly, and I think this really came up when we were babysitting Jenny, uh, or dog sitting Jenny, um, and that is getting out there and moving with the dog. We have a retriever. We have a built-in workout and partner. Retrievers love to run, but our retriever has become a couch potato. Why? Because they also tend to... Reflect their owners. Yes. And so they, they want to be pleasing. And so if the owner wants to just kind of sit around, then that's what they do. But Tabitha loves to retrieve. She loves to go running. In the past, we were always worried about the whole, you know, thing with her running away, but she's gotten much better with her obedience and she will pretty much always stay by your side, retrieve and come right back. And so one of the things that we're doing is she actually has to go down today to get her shots. Yes. And I need to get some dog food. And then what I want to do is go back over. We have an amazing dog park right down the street from us. 
but the dog park, you do have to pay to be in the dog park. It's for our residents. And the fee is very small. It's like $25. And I like the fact that it keeps everybody from every other community right. coming in and or you know every other dogs town. have all their shots and, and things. Yeah, so they want to verify the shots and all that stuff. But I do need to bring them an updated rabies tag because what they do is as soon as your rabies tag is like no good, they deactivate your little tag. Right. So I want to go do that. And so I want to commit to getting her out so that she can exercise some more as well. My biggest obstacle to commitment, if I'm super honest and I dig a little bit deeper, is not even schedule, it's emotion. I, I, I have a lot of emotion feelings toward a commitment. And that, that causes me not to make a commitment because I'm afraid I won't feel like doing that thing, right? Right. So I think a lot of times we we reserve the word commitment for really important things mm. like our partner in life. Oh, you get to have Redmond's uh, relights in your drink in now. Seltzer water. That's oh so wow, good. that's good. That that's like really so refreshing. Oh good. That's exciting. But like we talk about our commitment to parenting. And aren't we glad that there's no emotion when it comes to like parenting your child at three o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. right? Like babies are really lucky that we we don't need to have a, a feeling like being a mom at 3 a.m. to be a mom at 3 a.m. Right. And a lot of times we're like, well, that makes sense because that's a baby and there's a life on the line. But our lives are on the line. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to committing to our own health goals for ourselves, it really is that important, right. right? We need to maintain our mobility. Right. We need to, you know, see a reduction in inflammation and in pain. This is our lives That's we're right. talking about. So I think that it's, it's important to go ahead and take it to that level and make an actual commitment to following through. Yeah. So we have a busy, exciting day. Yes. Uh, can't wait for you guys to see what we're doing for dinner to break off of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. But we'll check in with you guys later. I feel like Cousin Eddie right now <laughs> in Vegas vacation. So Tabitha was out of dog food. So we just came up to the local pet store and I always get her good quality food. This isn't what we normally buy her, but this is a really, really good food too. I don't normally buy it because it's actually more expensive per day to feed her this than it is to feed her origin. But it's got really good clean ingredients. This is the Merrick dog food. We don't feed her grain, like any kind of grain food. We always feed her grain free. She's a carnivore. Well, these were on sale on clearance from $80 to $55. And then we found four bags. It's got special on it. 25% off the lowest price. So I bought every bag. Oops, I dropped it. I bought every bag because she's gonna go through a bag or more a month. Plus they had a bunch of their raw food on clearance. So we stocked up. Look at this but shopping cart. We saved over $300 off of the normal price. What do you think, Tabitha? Do you think this was a good deal? She just loves going to the pet store. We decided that part of our February commitment is going to be to uh, actually bring Tabitha up to the dog park because it's right down the street and all of a sudden she's got a whole bunch of buddies. I know, she's so excited. We're making new friends. Sit. <laughs> I love the fact that you say sit and they all sit. Yeah, they're so good. Oh, she's so good. Guess what? We get to go to dinner with Anthony. This is Anthony from our channel. Yay! And uh, we're having some dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings. So first meal after a BBB and A. It should be all chicken. There's I'm a so lot of chicken wings here. A lot of wings. So we're gonna enjoy some wings. <laughs> You're like a giddy little schoolgirl. It was the best night ever. We had so much fun. We met up with one of our subscribers, Anthony. Anthony not our son, Anthony. No. Anthony DiPatrillo. And we're probably saying that wrong. I'm sure we are, but it was so awesome. So, you know, he's we, the coolest guy. Anthony's one of our Patreons, and we've been talking to him for a while, and we kept saying, like, hey, let's get together, but life gets in the way. You know, the holidays, and then we're doing. 
beef, butter, bacon, egg, and trying to like coordinate schedules. And to me, the one of the best places to ever go out to eat when you want to meet somebody on keto is Buffalo Wild Wings, especially if you go on a Tuesday because you can get buy one now. It's buy one get one half off. But there's something for everybody to eat. And so we were just like, listen, beef, butter, bacon, eggs ending. And it turned out to be a Tuesday. It was awesome. Because, and it was great. Because he was doing it too. And like it, it takes somebody that's being on a challenge also to be like, I was like, I am so happy to be having chicken wings, like something different tonight. And he was excited for it too. It was so, great. Because he understood. That's like the, the something really cool about making a keto friend in your local area. Like yeah. we always kind of harp on that. Like try to go to some meetup. Community is important. Community is important. Make sure that you meet somebody. And I'm so, so thankful. And I mean, we're going to stalk him, right? Like, oh, I mean, he has no choice. We're, we're but, already like, planning on like Universal it, Studios it, with him. I right. mean, it's like. But it was it was like hanging out with somebody I've known my whole life. Right. He's just Only the we just met. Guy. Right. And it was great because I was really able to identify with him. And Rachel and I have always said if we can impact one person, like all of the work for two crazy ketos is worth it. And I know we get to impact people, but when you actually show up at a keto event or show up at KetoCon or Keto Palooza and we meet people. It's like, okay, like other people get it because like I talk about like, I still see this heavy person in the mirror. We say the scale is the devil and the other half to that is the mirror is a liar. It really is. And it's not just for girls, but also for guys. I have horrible self-image of myself. It was so life-giving for Joe to meet another guy that has that same experience. Because sometimes, you know, when you're when you're on this side of the camera, you're wondering like, am I the only person sharing this? And like, no one else shares my like, experience. Like, why are we even sharing this? Does yeah. anybody is care? Is this too much? Or, or like, is somebody gonna really feel like, gosh, you guys are, you know, don't have your stuff together. Yeah, and, we don't. And we don't, but it was just, it was really nice to see you feel like, gosh, I totally, what you're saying registers with me. And like, right. it was really a blessing for you to meet him. And, and it was a super blessing for me to meet him too. I feel like a lot of times I feel this, but you know, you want to bless somebody else and you end up oh. getting blessed. We and didn't I, and nearly that, bless him like what, he's blessed That's us. what tonight was. Yeah. Because for me, it really made me feel like I'm not alone. And we talk about that with you guys all the time. Like, you know, tell your story. Your story is going to impact somebody. It's going to make them feel not alone. And, and hanging out with Anthony tonight, I'm like, okay, I'm not weird. I'm not alone. I'm not weird. You know, I remember when I was at my skinniest at 182 pounds thinking I'm still fat. And I remember people meeting me going like, oh my gosh, you look like sickly thin. And I would look at myself and be like, what are you talking about? Like, I want to lose 20 more pounds. Yeah. And I can look back now at some of those pictures <clears throat> and be like, yeah, I was probably too thin. Like, should a 47, 48-year-old man really be wearing a 27-inch jeans? But without community, it's only your own head. Right. It's only you talking to you. Right. And so it was really nice just to have like this moment of community. And also it was so encouraging to see somebody else who has children that are going into, you know, adulthood. And it's, it's amazing because he has three daughters and we have three sons. Right. So it was just so neat to see him share those stories. And it's like, he's got a why built in like we do. Like I want to live and enjoy my beautiful family and, and just enjoy being a dad and like, and, and all of the life that we have to live. And we felt that way too, yeah. you know? So it was just so beautiful to share that. Yeah. So yeah, we ended up eating Buffalo Wild Wings. I think we each ate about 15 wings and I was pretty stuffed at the restaurant. I really couldn't eat anymore. Did have some blue cheese dressing with it. Not a lot, not as normal, not as much as I used to. We were talking about on Matreya's live stream the other night. Yeah. Like, Listen, the bottom line is chicken wings is just a vehicle for blue cheese dressing, right? If you can find a good blue cheese dressing, we have a great recipe for blue cheese oh, dressing. Oh, yeah, try it. Leave a link up here. But 
It's like, I just want a vehicle to eat blue cheese dressing because I love it that much. I have, I have something to input there because I think that how much blue cheese I consume has a lot to do with the, the serving bowl for the blue cheese. Yes. If you had given me, like those little containers, they're not- I had two of the little containers. Well, here's the thing. The way I dunk- I don't know how you do your your um, chicken wings if you like drizzle blue cheese over top of it like you're holding it and dri but I dunk mm -hmm. so that was a that was like trying to dunk inside of a slip and slide the there first was, couple get a lot there was no depth to it right so like you kind of have to be like well I guess that's it and if I get a little dab I do right you know but if I have the big container like the take home container Dude, I'll eat that entire take home because there's plenty of room in the mouth of that to like dunk stuff. That's something that so, I, I, need I picked up too is that like when I am going to have those sauces because those sauces are like a pitfall for me yeah. to put it in those little cups. We bought a lot of those little stainless steel dipping cups that you would get in a restaurant. You can buy them on Amazon. I'll leave a link for one down below. But you can't fit the whole but length you, of the but wing. But if I just time. limit myself to that much, I'm good. Yeah. But a lot of times I take an eight ounce ramekin and fill yeah. that up with blue cheese. And guess what? I I'm going to eat it. all of that blue cheese with my wings. Whereas if I limit myself to that little cup, I'm not going to eat nearly as much. But I did yeah. have the blue cheese dressing. And uh, yeah, we had, what did we have? We had the uh, Chipotle barbecue. No, we didn't. We had the buffalo it was a dry rub. We had the buffalo dry rub. We had the lemon pepper dry rub, and then we had the spicy garlic, and we had the medium. So those do have a touch of canola oil in yeah. them, which I'm fine. This was a special treat, you know. And again, I love what Dr. Sai was said the other day, and I know it's a hot topic for some people, but if you're eating keto and carnivore, and you have just a little bit of sauce that has one of those inflammatory oils, it's not going to kill you. You don't want to be doing it on a regular basis. It shouldn't be a majority of your diet. But that little bit, once in a blue moon, it's not going to hurt you. And we try to steer clear as much as possible, but we also wanted to enjoy ourselves. Well, we did. And I think about when you compare it to the way that we used to live, where like, let's say I would get a funnel cake. Well, how is like, how is the oil brought to me in that it's not yeah. a little dab it's like dunked in and fried in it and it's like permeating every cell of the funnel cake right, right. so i don't eat fr like fried food and i don't use oil even mm. the way that i used to like we're not frying turkeys right. anymore like we used to and we're right. not frying a bunch of food like in a lot of deep deep oil so no matter what oil you know we're using it's not like we used no. to eat yeah so we're gonna, I think we're gonna just continue this vlog on till tomorrow. Uh, got a nice special dinner planned for tomorrow night. Aww. I can't wait for that. Something we haven't made in a long time. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Cheers to your day, sir. Oops, too late. Oh, too late. Well, I'll get mine in. Cheers. Mmm. Ah, uh, it's a delicious day. It is Wednesday morning. Look at the cute cups. We're Anthony enjoying got coffee. us. Yes, Anthony got us these mugs to go with the rest of our Harry Potter mugs. Thank you so much. Are, are these just not the funnest? I love these. They're adorable, right? Like, I just mm. love their little faces. Coffee today is, in the entire pot of coffee, two eggs. And a half a scoop of chocolate toffee keto chow. So good. I have these. You have been calling my name. Are those the balls? For 31 days. Michelle's chocolate balls. She actually mm. sent us another recipe. I'm going to wait. Mm. That um, we tried yesterday. I know yesterday. I'm not be eating this for breakfast, but it is cream cheese. We tried it yesterday. It is so stinking good. And we're going to be making that soon now that mm. uh, our challenge from January is over. And we can you're gonna make me eat this whole thing. have a few more. I'm going to make you eat the whole thing? No, but I think that you're going to want to anyway. I'm going to be good. And save it for I'm later? save it for later. We got this in the mail yesterday. How nice. From Kai's. Look at this. From Kai's. Now you're getting chocolate all over it. Do you want me to go get a knife? No. You're going to He-Man? We're going to He-Man it. You're going to He-Man? So, uh, we, when we were in Vegas, yeah. we met Kai's 
Then we had a bunch of their cookies, and they actually sponsored one of the 12 days of keto. It's so exciting to so celebrate awesome. a young entrepreneur. Yes. Look so at this. We're gonna we're not gonna eat this right now, but they have a couple of new flavors. Look at her cute packaging. I like this new packaging. I mean, she's not even in high school yet, right? and she has her own company. And uh, so these. You might want to eat these now. Yeah. Well, I've got some hot coffees. So. But they are inspired by Girl Scouts cookies. Oh my gosh. So this is. Is like, there a tag along? Yep. Okay, so this so is. They got the chocolate, chocolate mint, mint, which is supposed to be like the, you know, thin mint. Right. And then this is oh, keto caramel coconut. That is like the Samoas, yep. which was my absolute favorite. We would always purchase those. One net carb per cookie. Hello. And then the chocolate one is one net carb per cookie. So we will try these later on with dinner. Oh my gosh. Look no, at that coconut. I want a little bite of that because oh, you I got want some hot now. coffee. Yes. Oh, which yeah. one are we trying? Samoas. Well, I'm going to have to pick a good, you open that okay. because I've got mint on my like mouth from Oh, well these the are ball. mint ones. Yeah, but no, but I was eating that and I don't want to affect the taste. Want to cleanse your palate? Look at this beautiful cookie. Oh, by the way, this is espresso from the espresso machine. Want a half of a like half? Just a half of a half and save these for later. I will leave a link for these down below. I want the one with more We like, are coconut. not affiliated with them. We don't make any money off of them, but um, we love, we love supporting small business, especially and one owned by an 11 or 12 year old girl. I was going to say, you don't get much smaller in small business than a, than a child's small business, right? Dink. But you wouldn't know by her baking skills. You gotta taste skills. it without dunking it first. I'm sorry. It's gotta dunk. Mmm. Oh, wow. She nailed it. That is a Samoa. That is a Samoa cookie. That like, you know, where it's like coconut and chocolate. And that oh, was my so jam. That is good. Wow. That is good. That is really good. She's nailed the sweetener. Right? Because... Wow. You could get the sweetener wrong and really not enjoy the experience. That is a really good cookie. We'll try this one later on today. Oh my gosh. That is really good. So again, I'll leave a link down Way below. Way to go, Kai. Uh, look, now you got coconut and chocolate going down the side of your- Not uh, even upsetting muck. me. I'm gonna absolutely lick Ron's face right now. So uh, today, uh, Anthony, I have a little bit of cutting. Rachel has a little bit of work to do at church. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have pork loin today. Okay, I'm a little scared. I'm gonna be really honest about that. Because every time you've ever had it, it's been dry. dry. Now, we don't normally make pork loin at home a lot because nope. if there is like a pork option, we don't even usually get pork chops a lot. Right. We usually lean toward pork belly, bacon, that sort of thing. We've had a like pulled pork. It doesn't always like me. Yeah. And then we will venture out, especially to like Brazilian steakhouse or something like that. And that or in a buffet situation, that's when I will taste a pork loin. Yep. And man, even at the Brazilian steakhouse, I've only had like the one experience in Las Vegas where we went to like the fancier place with the longer name mm -hmm. that I, I thought, wow, this is very moist and tastes delicious all the way through. Yeah. You know, a lot of times they can spend- Pork some, can get dry if you don't cook it right. Well, and they can We're gonna spend show you how to cook it right. Energy like on the outside, crusting it with something and it still isn't yeah. something that I wanna eat. So nope. you got a big challenge. I got sir. a little secret. We're gonna cook it in the oven. Okay. And uh, this way everybody can do it. And I'm gonna show you a couple little secrets to keep it nice and moist. You got you got your task ahead of you. Th this one takes a little bit of time. It's not a lot of prep, but it's a lot of cooking time. Okay. But that's okay, we're gonna go with that. Now that you mentioned the Brazilian steakhouse, so I'm ready to go back because I'm ready to go back because Texas Day Brazil has some chicken dishes that I really, we that we can't have that I really like. Like Parmesan crusted, right? They have that one, it's like Parmesan crusted chicken. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that stuff is so good. And every time we've gone, bacon the last chicken. few times, we've been on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs we and haven't been able to enjoy it. And we couldn't eat it. So I'm definitely ready to do that. At some point, we have a bunch of gift cards left. Me too. But I know you gotta get going. I'm gonna probably play with Tabitha later. We're gonna do the pork loin. We got her some Frisbees. And uh, I do need to run to the store and get eggs because Anthony has been on an egg kick lately. 
has. And he has. What in is the going last on? three days, we've gone through three dozen eggs. So I had, I had even worn out. I had about five dozen eggs in the refrigerator between the ones that we bought and the laid ones, plus the basket. The basket's down to the six eggs, and that's all the eggs in the house. He has that's been, why we're not having eggs for breakfast. He's been doing a lot of like sauces with cream, pancetta, and egg, mm -hmm. and cheese. And I'm like, we got to get in on that because that is all things that we yeah. can eat. Well, right? I took a dozen eggs out yesterday to make Maria Emmerich's bread. And I always take them, and I sit them on the counter for about an hour or two hours so that they come to room temperature because I find that the egg whites... Uh, whip up better if they're at room temperature. So I always do that. And I started doing it when he was cooking dinner and he looks over and he's like, where's all the eggs? And we're like, oh. And I'm like, well, I just used them all. He was like, I needed four of them. I'm like, well, you can use the fresh eggs over on the counter. And I'm like, I'm glad because I don't really want to use the fresh eggs for the Maria Emmerich bread. I use like the dollar or a dozen eggs for the it's Maria Emmerich bread. It's kind of funny though if you make this bread in the presence of anybody else that's not normally eating it. Because yeah, they're like, oh, here's a dozen eggs. And you're like, yeah, I need all of these. Yeah. How could you need all of these? I need all of these. Yep. Uh, the other thing I need to do, I'll just get my eggs there, is I need to go to Publix because today's the last day. Of Publix is having buy one, get one free on the 12 packs of Zevia. And you can have Zevia. So again. I can have Zevia. I'm being good. I was going to say, how are you doing that? Like, I've had one or two a day or? No, I, I'm probably, I'm mostly sticking to my seltzer water, but I like it as a treat. Uh -huh. Although we mentioned it to dinner at with Anthony yesterday. I am still smiling from that. So 1130 on Monday night. I woke up because we fell asleep early and I woke up and I always keep a bottle of seltzer water or water behind my head because a lot of times I'll wake up in the middle of the night like parched. And so I woke up at like 1130. I had to go to the restroom and I'm like, I'm parched. And I look at my watch and it's 1130. Oh, wait, in 30 minutes? If you just stay up, you could have, have a Zevia. I can have Zevia. So I put an episode of Mike and Molly on HBO. And I started I love that show. I, I watched an episode of Mike and Molly You're and so waited cute. to 12 o'clock. And at 12.01, I chugged a can of Zevia root beer. Like, that was bad. So, today we're going to make a pork loin in the oven. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time. You're looking at about 20 minutes per pound. But the result is going to be a really nice, juicy pork loin. Also, when you are going to do this, make sure you're not buying a pork tenderloin completely different cuts of meat. So let's get into how to do this. So one of the nice things about a pork loin is, it's pretty cheap, $1.99 a pound. We got this one at Costco. Uh, so $1.99 a pound, $15. And this is a seven and a half pound pork loin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this package out. Now, if you are curious about uh, nutrition facts, there is a nutrition thing on the back here. And so four ounces is 220 calories, 14 grams of fat, and then you have 22 grams of protein. So this is perfect uh, when you're looking at something one-to-one -one because you've got a little bit more protein and fat. And then when you start adding in like some butter and maybe some other things that you want to have with your meal, you're going to be right there at one-to-one. -one. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this temper come up to room temperature for a little while. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Put some seasoning on here. Now you can put pretty much any kind of dry rub you want. You can do a combination of garlic, pepper, salt, uh, anything you want, any kind of dry rub you like. Personally, again, as always, I love the Redmond Organic Garlic Pepper. So we're gonna put a bunch of that on and we're gonna pat it into the meat and then we're gonna top it off on top of that with the Redmond Organic Seasoned Salt. Now I am gonna cover the whole piece of meat, but you really wanna make sure you get a lot on the fat cap because we're gonna go fat cap up. But I really wanna get some of these flavors into uh, all of the meat. So we're just gonna, again, cover everything. And on the bottom half, I'm not as concerned as getting a lot on. I just wanna get a little bit of flavor in there. And again, make sure you're getting the sides. So this stuff is really good. This is the organic seasoned salt. And it's really good if you're on a fast, because if you're on a fast and you want to have some flavor, put about a teaspoon of this inside of a cup of hot water, and you're going to swear you're drinking like a chicken broth. It just brings out so much flavor, but there's no chicken in here. There's just a bunch of seasonings. And then I'm going to coat the entire thing in the seasoned salt. And again, you don't have to use these rubs or seasonings, 
These are just the ones that I really, really like. I think the flavor profile is great. And uh, I love Rudman products. There's a link down below if you need to get some of it. You can get it all on their website. And if you use the code 2 Crazy Ketos, that'll get you 15% off. So we're going to go ahead and let this come up to room temperature, probably about 30 minutes to an hour, and then we're going to stick it in the oven. So while we're waiting for this to temper up to room temperature, uh, I wanted to show you, I did transfer it over to a baking sheet. So this is a quarter of a sheet pan. I recently got these online. These are the Epicure ones. We are not affiliated with them. We don't make any money. We're not distributors for them. But I really liked these rimmed silicone covers. So they perfectly fit the pan and it just makes cleanup a little bit easier. And uh, these things are really good. I'll leave a link for them down below. But again, I am not a distributor. Uh, we don't make any money. We're not affiliated in any way. They're just really good sheet pans and they're not super expensive. I want to say it was about 20 bucks for it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our meter probes and we're going to just stick it in two different places. I'm going to go to the middle. So I'm going to put one on this side and then I'm going to go over here on the other side. You want to get the probe to be about halfway in. And the reason I use more than one is just so I have an idea of where all of the meat is. So if we only use one, we run the risk of that side being done, but not this side. So it just gives me a good idea. This section is a little bit thicker than this section. So that's gonna help me to get a good judge of where we're going because we're gonna go to a final internal temperature of 145 degrees. So we're gonna let this temper and then we're gonna get going with the cooking process. So the pork loin is coming up to temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready with the cooking process. First thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees. So now that the oven is up to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and put it in here uh, for 10 minutes. And what we're trying to do is get a nice sear on the outside. So we're gonna let that go for 10 minutes. We're gonna check, we may turn it around depending on how it cooks in there. And then we're gonna drop the temperature of the oven. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check it. So uh, yeah, we wanna get a little bit more sear. So we're going to turn this around and uh, let it go for about another five minutes. That was eight minutes total. Okay, so it's another five minutes. Let's go ahead and check this. Yeah, that's much better. You can see how it's starting to sear up a little bit. Now that it's all seared, we're gonna put it back in the oven. We're gonna reduce the temperature to 300 degrees, and we're gonna go for about 20 minutes per pound until we have an internal temperature of 145 degrees. Okay, it looks like the uh, pork loin is done, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it out of the oven. So that looks delicious. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wrap this and uh, let it rest for about 30 minutes. So when we wrap it, you don't have to do too much, just kind of loosely put some aluminum foil over there. That'll keep some of the heat in. And uh, as soon as Rachel gets home, it should be ready to go. Okay, so this has been sitting for a while because uh, you were a little late coming home. Sorry, my mom got a new couch and a rug and I was helping to arrange it. It's beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the meters out. Okay, just cut it right in the middle. We do not want to see pink, right? No, but it is definitely nice, nice. and juicy. Nice. Here, I'll give you a little piece here. I don't want to cut all the way through because I'm actually on my mats. Wow. I'm already impressed by just how moist it is. Sorry, kids. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that's, that's one of the things about like a pork loin, if you don't cook it right, it's gonna be super really dry. dry. You That's need usually to have my, it juicy. That is my complaint with pork loin and why I don't order it more. And you cook this in the oven? Yep, in the oven. I have to say, I am pleasantly surprised. Why? I did no not. No confidence in me? Well, I, I love you so much, but I didn't think mm. it's possible to have pork loin moist. <sighs> I've had it dry so many times, I've just absolutely avoided it in the store. You have to cook it properly. Mm hmm. You need to cook it a little bit slower. It takes some time, you know, like 20 minutes a pound. You cannot overcook it. If you overcook it, it's going to dry out. And again, the resting. Mm -hmm. You've got to rest it. If you don't rest it, all of the juices are going to pour out and it's just going to be like dry, like eating paper. This is so nice because talk about making a mess of food at a time. I mean, there's just so much. You get so many 
slices of it, there's an entire another half. Well, and here's the thing. Perfect for a family. Right? People talk about like how do you eat carnivore? Yeah. Um, now again, it's not a ruminant animal, mm -hmm. but that entire pork loin was $15. Both halves. The whole thing was $15. It's $1.99 a pound. Wow. So you're getting a lot of meat. It is slightly higher in protein than fat. Put a little bit of butter on top. Amazing. Just amazing. And you know, the Redmond seasoning. And what I did with this one is. It's like crusted. Um, well, cause I seared it at the beginning, 10 minutes on high. Um, but this is the Redmond organic garlic pepper mm -hmm. and the Redmond, Redmond organic season salt. So it's a mm. combination of both. So you're getting all of those different flavor profiles. And again, like I said, you could use any rub you want. I just really like the Redmond. It's like super clean ingredients. It brings out so much flavor, but you could use like the ones from Pork and Good. Oh yeah. You know, the, the key is just make sure you're not getting something that's got a bunch of maltodextrin or sugar. And I've got something that. that'll blow your mind. I wouldn't mind this and slices of this for Thanksgiving. Oh, like, yeah. I know we do turkey and stuff like that, but turkey's not always my favorite. And I felt like, you could do two of these and feed a mess of people, right? For 30 bucks, really. Something else you can do is actually, if you have an injector, melt some butter mm -hmm. and inject a little bit of butter inside of it for when it's cooking. That'll add that butter flavor inside of it. So Some people nice. like to stuff them. But this is good just like this. Mm. And then... Every bite is so flavorful. What you can do is actually take... Um, if you have a meat slicer, you mm -hmm. can slice it nice and thin. Oh yeah, lunch and meat. And you have some great like pork loin, you know, like lunch meat. This mm -hmm. thing gets so tight where you can't open it. Wow. Now I did have on the side here a little um, horseradish mustard. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, let I, me try that. I haven't even dipped it yet because it's so moist. Let me just try a little bit of that. So how was your day? It was really good. I felt super energized. I was not hungry. We had coffee this morning and I was thinking, I'm going to grab lunch someplace. Mm -hmm. I did not My mom and I worked like crazy this morning prepping crafts for an upcoming weekend. I mean, when you're trying to prep 400 of something, like right. it takes some time. So we were doing an assembly line, you know, prepping the crafts. And then um, I went to church to the office to, um, you know, turn over some stuff, get some other things ready. And I just feel so accomplished and I was so busy. I didn't have time to really think about being hungry. I um, made myself another cup of coffee there at the church, just, you know, black you coffee. you can have more than one. Because I can have more than one. And I felt like that was the super treat. And, um, and now this, and I'm really glad that I waited because I want to enjoy all this. When I came home, I decided I'm going to go fly my drone. It was kind of windy today. Yeah, you're telling me it was windy. Oh, did it get I rough? got some good footage. I crashed a couple of times. and uh, But finally, it went up and uh, the wind just took it. And it was towards the end of the battery. I was trying to bring it back home. And we were behind the house. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to bring it back home. And right as I tried to gun it, which sagged the battery, the wind took it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, where'd it go? Where'd it like, go? And so I, I'm looking through the goggles. I still have an image. And it's laying on the ground. It's upside down. And all I can see is like grass and a fence. And so the guy that's across the street from us, he was like, I think it went that way. So I'm walking around and I've got the beeper on, beeping on. And I look through the goggles and I'm like, that's a familiar looking fence. Really? It landed in Becky and Steven's backyard. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, hey, at least it landed in somebody's yard that, that I was, can go into. That went pretty far though. But yeah, it was just like, it went up and then down. And I couldn't, I was like, oh my gosh, I just lost my drone. And there was good footage on there, but I oh, did man. get it back. I I'm don't glad. think they saw me going in their backyard though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not like they would have minded. No, but it was just funny because here I go, like, I'm pretty sure it's in that backyard. And, and I flipped the little beep switch again. And I'm like, yeah, there, I hear it. It's in their backyard. But at least I got it back. 
So uh, it's Wednesday. I would like to watch a movie. So Me I think too. we should finish eating. And uh, do you want to give away some keto chow? Let's do it. So uh, you want to do three? Mm -hmm. Let's do three. So we've got some more of those packages of keto chow with, uh, what is it? There's, uh, I, say there's I like think there's like nine different nine. flavors in there. One of each flavor. I don't remember. You'd have to go back and check out the video where, where we showed you guys everything we have because I don't remember everything that's in there. But we're going to go ahead and give three of those away. So here's what you need to do. You need to leave a comment down below. You need to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. Live in the United States. You need to live in the United States. Sorry about that. One of the biggest things, the reason you want to be subscribed to the channel and hit that bell button is so that you're notified when we go over on the community page and, and, and announce the winner. the winner. Yeah. Because we've announced some winners and we haven't had winners respond to us. And so if we don't hear from them soon, we're just going to put those back into the pool because I've tried messaging people and no answer back. So make sure you go over. There's a link for the community page down below along with the date that we will draw the winners because that date's going to be dependent on when this video goes up. But we're not going to hunt you down to give you something for free. That's right. So now if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Well, whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we have a delicious dinner, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. bye.